Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. So in the last video, we talked about the basics of tree data structure. In this video, we will be looking at the three standard binary tree traversal algorithms. Okay. So first one is the in-order traversal method. Another is the pre-order traversal and another one is the post-order traversal. So what are the differences in all three of this? In in-order traversal, we first traverse the left subtree, then we note down the root node value and then we traverse the right subtree. Okay. In, I'll also tell you a trick how to remember this. Don't worry. In pre-order traversal, we first traverse the root node, then we traverse the left subtree and then we traverse the right subtree. In the post-order traversal, we first traverse the left subtree, then the right subtree and then the root node. Okay. So let me take an example. So let us take an example of a binary tree. So let's say this is 10, 2, 12, 14, 3 and 9. Okay. And I'll uh, take the same values here. Okay. So I'll select this and I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. Okay. And I'll also paste it here. Okay. So now, what is the in-order traversal? In-order traversal means you first traverse the left subtree, then root and then the right subtree, okay? So you first traverse the left subtree. So you go to the left. Now still there is a left subtree. So you still go to the left. So your output is 14. Then you traverse the root node. So when you backtrack, 2 is the root node. Like if I look at this, so starting from the root node, first we go in the left subtree because it is first left subtree. Now recursively from 2 also, I'll go in the left subtree. So I'll come here. So I'll print 14. Now there is no more left subtree. So I'll go back. Now uh, for this subtree 2, 14 and 3, 2 is the root node. So after left subtree is done, the left subtree of 2 is done. So root node will be taken and then the right subtree will be taken. So 3 will be taken. Then uh, we'll backtrack from here and go back here. So 10's left subtree is over. Now 10 will be written because it is the root node. Then we will go into its right subtree. So first left subtree is done, then root is done. Now we go in the right subtree. So it is 12 and 9. In this order it will be printed, right? Because when we go to 12, here also first left subtree will be traversed. There is no left subtree. Then root will be traversed. So 12 will be traversed. Then, then 9 will be traversed because it's the right one, okay? Similarly, here it will be root left right and here it will be left right root. Now, uh, let me tell you a trick how to write down these values on a pen and paper. I mean, how to do in-order traversal, pre-order traversal and post-order traversal efficiently on a pen and paper. And then I'll also tell you how do you remember this order and then we will look at the code of all three traversals. Okay. So first of all, let me just remove this. Okay. And let me paste the same tree here again. Now, see, this was the uh, in-order traversal, right? So whenever you want in order traversal, what do you need to do is make pointers at the bottom of the nodes. Okay. When you want to do pre order traversals, make it uh, on the left hand side. And when you want to do post order traversal, make pointers on the right hand side. Okay. Now in all three of them, traverse the peripheral of the tree in this way. Okay. Starting from year to year. Okay. You go here and you go here. Here also. Okay, and here also. Okay, now when you are traversing, whenever you encounter this pointer, you note down that node's value. So while I'm going here, the first pointer, the first point which I encounter is this one. So I'll note down 14. Then from here I'll encounter 2. So I'll write down 2, then I'll encounter 3. So I'll write down 3, then I'll encounter this point that is 10. So I'll write down 10. Then I'll encounter, uh, here I'll encounter 12. So I'll write down 12 and then I'll encounter 9. I'll encounter this point at the last. So I'll write down 9. You can see we have got the same answer. So this is in order traversal. Now in pre order traversal, it is root left and right. So when I start traversing, the first of all, I'll encounter this point. So I'll write down 10. Then I'll encounter this point. So I'll write down 2. Then I'll encounter this point. So I'll write down 14. Then I'll encounter this point. So I'll write down 3. Then I'll encounter this point, so I'll write down 12. And then I'll encounter this point, so I'll write down 9. Okay. So I this is the pre-order traversal. Let's come to the post-order traversal. So I'll come here, come here, come here, and first I'll encounter this one. So I'll write down 14. Then I'll encounter this one. So I'll write down 3. Then I'll encounter this one. So I'll write down 2. 
then I'll encounter this one. So I'll write down 9, then I'll encounter this one. So I'll write down 12, and then I'll encounter this one. So I'll write down 10. So this is the post order traversal in which left, right, and then root is traversed. You can also say root is at the end. So this root value is at the end. Okay. So this is the basic of in order traversal, pre order traversal, and post order traversal. Now, how do you remember this uh, uh, this order? Okay. So that you do not make a mistake. See, this is in order traversal. This is pre order traversal. And this is post order traversal. In all three of them, left subtree is before the right subtree. In all three of them, left subtree is before the right subtree. In in order traversal, the root is in order, it is in between. In the pre order, it is pre, it is before left and right subtree. In post order traversal, it is post. So root is after left subtree and right subtree. So this is left root right, this is root left subtree, right subtree, this is left subtree, right subtree and root. Now let's look at the actual implementation of all these three questions and uh, submit them. So this is the pre-order traversal question. Let's look at the code. We have already understood uh, the concept. So we had to complete this function pre-order traversal where root of the binary tree was given and we needed to return the pre-order traversal in a vector. So I have taken one vector answer and called the pre-order traversal function and I have passed the root and vector in that. What does pre-order traversal do? If the root is not null, pre-order means root left subtree right subtree. So first of all it will push back this node's value in the answer vector, push back root data then traverse on the left subtree and then traverse on the right subtree. So it is root left and right. Let's submit the code. Okay, so we have solved this successfully. Let's look at the next one. Okay, so this question is on post order traversal. Uh, post order traversal is uh, uh, left subtree, right subtree and root node. Okay, so if I look at the code, I had to complete this post order function. I have taken one vector answer. I have taken post order traversal and passed the root node pointer and the answer vector. And if root is not null, post order means left subtree, right subtree and root node. So traverse on the left subtree, traverse on the right subtree and finally push back the value of the current root node. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, so we have solved this question successfully. Now la last let us look at the code of in order traversal. Okay, so this is the question on in order traversal. Let's look at the code for it. Okay. So uh, this was the code which I needed to complete. Uh, so I have taken one vector answer and called the in order traversal function, passed the root node and the answer vector. And here if I look, uh, if uh, in order traversal means left subtree, root and right subtree. So if root is not null, traverse on the left subtree, then push back the value of the current root and then traverse on the right subtree. Okay, it will give us the in order traversal. Let me submit it. Okay, so we have solved this question successfully. Okay, so I hope you have understood all these three traversals completely. Thank you.